Food, no doubt, remains the most important basic needs of man, followed by clothing and shelter. In Nigeria, however, these basic needs of man are gradually turning into a luxury as the majority of the people no longer know what it feels like to have a three square meal a day. The cry of hunger has continued to reverberate even among the high and the mighty, a situation experts believe is being fueled by the skyrocketing prices of foodstuff in the market, putting it out of the reach of the common man. What I buy last time in the past, maybe 500, now it's 2,500. You can see it increased by over 500 percent. Recently, the United Nations predicted that 82 million Nigerians, about 64 percent of the country's population, may go hungry by 2030, calling on the government to tackle climate change, pest infestations, and other threats to agricultural productivity. The prediction comes in the wake of persistent hike in food prices in Nigeria. The federal government did not treat the prediction with a key's glove as it mandated all the state governors to embark on aggressive farming to take care of hunger in the land. In Ocean State, Governor Demola Adeleke Adelia set up a committee to propose solutions to the various food security, which includes farm security, food pricing and availability, as well as widening operation support and environment for farmers. Honorable Olani Roati Dadi is a special advisor to the Governor on Agriculture and also chairman of the implementation committee set up by the Governor to drive government's policies and achieve food security in the state. He explained that the Governor has directed every local government to donate 1,000 hectares of land for agricultural purposes. We make a lot of commitment to our big sector by doing few renovations at our farm settlements, purchase of tractors, sharing of fertilizers that is going to come up next week, cassava stems, chemical, and many inputs. And we make announcements which the government gave us the assignment to contact all local government chairmen that they should all last with their kings and valleys, that they should provide 1,000 hectares of land each for youth in Russia to farm in their various, in their various local government, which we are working on also. Every home should have a garden where they can plant tomato, they can plant okra, onion, pepper, and all. That we don't need to go to the farm or go to the market to purchase this. Similarly, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Mr. Maruf Olawale, noted that the state government has procured about 32 tractors, reintroduced school farming in all secondary schools in the state, and will soon commence the distribution of fertilizers to farmers, as well as improved seedlings for greater yield. The PR has also noted that all the military lands lying idle in the state will also be cultivated for agricultural purposes. Whatever we have to do to make sure that... Uh food production is enhanced, we will be very happy to do that and we are, we are ready to work very hard to ensure that uh, food production is enhanced in our state and uh, currently we are redoubling our effort. We are working very hard because what we are currently experiencing, if not properly managed, no matter how much is your salary, it's not uh, enough to cope with buying your food and taking care of your genders. We are currently holding meetings with the federal government. They are planning to support us with uh, some input and the uh, training of our youth on modern farming. Reports released by the National Bureau of Statistics have shown that Nigeria's food inflation rate hit record high of 40.66%, surpassing the previous rate of 40.53%. We should diversify the food production, not only concentrated on rice, we also, we also have other food, staple food like cassava, like maize, like uh, yams, like potato, all of them. So you should also finance, you should also give these farmers loan not only giving money to, to rice farmer. So I think uh, it's low sided. So until this is corrected, I think uh, we are still going to face with this uh, food scarcity and the suffering will continue. When things continue to be like this, without control, in the next five to four months, I don't know how Nigerians 
will survive. Experts have identified food security as the most pressing issue facing the nation at the moment, which requires immediate actions to tackle before it completely gets out of hand. Oluchi Amuda, OSBC News.